Okay, my friends, this is a city house here in Sgersh. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna head inside. Uh, it's located along this beautiful square here. Uh, and I was gonna go and ask for attorney's assistance here, legal advice sometimes on February this year in 2019. However, before I entered this city hall, I stopped right here behind, right in the corner behind the building, and I recorded the scenario which is gonna take place inside. Make no mistake, scenario exactly repeated. I am uncertain whether it was in 2013 or 2000, and might be even in 2015. I was here with a neighbor, and I definitely did make a mistake because I gestured it was in 2006. Uh, I was just so certain that so much stuff went on in 2006 that I did not pay, unfortunately, enough attention to timing which took place under MK Ultra. That was a big mistake. Uh, now, let's go and see what exactly happened afterwards inside, if this was really a repeated scenario from MK Ultra or not. Just to give you an idea about where this would be located at. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, this. this was recorded sometimes in February 19, I think it was. Uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful day, warm, nice, and I was, you know, you know I had to find an attorney, get some kind of legal advice or something, because they keep rejecting my right to apply here in Poland for political protection, asylum. And so I headed to Zgersh where, I, where they had arranged appointment with an attorney. Um, there's supposed to be an attorney that would give free legal advice and stuff like that. And I was determined to meet him in this city house. The thing is that when I headed to... I have just completed some project I did okay that day. And then I had it from library knowing exactly what's gonna happen already in advance. Two hours in this direction right here. I think I was told about a day earlier. Something like this that's gonna be today. This appointment or something like that. Because uh, I was in, also in Zgersh, okay, and so I came from two hours away knowing exactly what's going to happen. And before I enter the building, I stop at the corner and I make my procrastination according to MK Ultra scenario, which in fact took place in 2015 and not as I am convinced in 2006. At this time, I'm completely messed up on a date, on a dating. I, I was really excited when I came to Grotniki, when I came to Zgersh. Most of the time I spent over there in Grotniki, back and forth, uh, seeing stuff that took place in 2003, maybe even in mid-2002. And I was like impressed with people I have reminded myself of. Uh, I have met locations I have seen we were. Uh, and I was pretty damn sure that this actually took place sometimes in 2006. Um, like three years later when we came, something like this, before we stopped. Uh, actually, before I returned back from the U.S. officially to Slovenia. And so the timing here is really, really poor. And then the worst part I did was I got really, really excited with the ladies over there because I knew, I knew, I knew, you know, you just know because you were in this situation, what's gonna happen exactly, and 
there's no way you could possibly you can make a mistake. Uh, you can make a mistake. No, the thing is, why I did this on a corner? I did because when they find out, if they find out that you know about what's gonna take place, uh, not likely that's what's gonna happen. Um, I did a, I did pretty well just before I entered the building. Tick tick. Uh, I apologize for most of the ladies here in Zgirsh to everybody. Um, I understand that people try to help me whichever way they possibly can. And so I really want to thank the Zgirsh people, the city hall and everybody for help here, which I'm sorry, but... You just think about that it's not, it wouldn't be because I would come from far away and whatever, but it's just other issues. It's just, you know, I want to get rid of this thing. I want this thing to be known, basically. I feel that fell for a very long time. Sometimes, like, for the new year, I was like, I felt that, you know, people don't have the right actually to even keep silent about this stuff. They should just give me the video and let's get over of it. Uh, this is basically how I felt about it. I didn't feel like I should just go and meet more people and get more proofs and so somehow this thing can get recognized. Unfortunately, this thing drags already for so long. And it is, it's, it's awkward when you go, when you see towns, you know towns, portion of the towns, not everything, of course not. Uh, and it's just, you know, you find yourself in an awkward situation like this. In this kind of situation, you shouldn't even be in this kind of situation, you know. So, I apologize, uh, you're going to hear me, I get really excited with those ladies, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, that's all I can do. Let's go and let let let's play this audio and go from there. Well, according to MK Auto Scenario, as far as I remember, I would come here. Well, right now, let's see. It's With exactly 5:30. It's supposed to be 6 o'clock for this attorney's meeting, but they're gonna just tell me about it now. It's too late. Everybody left already. It's too late. I came here in 2015 with my neighbor Donna Collins right across the street. Um, it's supposed to give legal advice to a lot of people that's supposed to come here, that is going to be there, and you can come and you can ask him, uh, you know, individually, and he's going to give you legal advice until six o'clock. There was no such thing. And I knew it in advance. As you have heard in court. Okay, at the end I'm going to give original recording to send me to the second floor. I get to the second floor where it's supposed to be this. A room where you would meet. I recognize the lady, I'm 100%, she is the one. But I'm totally confused with timing though.
another lady comes to and uh, we can't find this place uh, there is nobody inside of that room We go back and forth with this lady and uh, we try to find out what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna stop here a little bit to give you a feeling what I felt, okay? Uh, the feeling is such that, you know, you know, you go all the way from so far away, you come and you know what's gonna happen, okay? So you do get excited, okay? You do get excited because you know what's gonna happen and it is exactly what you know it's gonna happen and, you know, then you do tell the them you know oh, I knew it it's gonna be like this okay but I still apologize there's no reason that I get so excited with this lady this lady is all of them just wanted to help me out really it's true it is true but this is the worst case of MK Ultra ever there was never anything like this yet Okay, so we go up and down with the lady, um, we go back, we went to the reception, they told us it's supposed to be up there, we tried to find out, okay, we don't know what's going on, then I meet this lady that was there already in 2015, and she tells us, me and the other lady who came too, that in fact, uh, that's it. It was locked, I think, or whatever it was. This should have been placed online already. And it was deleted to me. But I got it because I uploaded it somewhere else. In the end, I'm going to give original audio. That's it. Everybody laughed already. So me and the lady are about to leave, but I am going to ask the... No, that's where I made a mistake. In 2015, not 2013 or 2006, but 2015 she was there. Four years.
There is a little bit more to this stuff here uh, in respect to the lady that you have heard. Uh, then in February I did not even go around and ask anybody yet uh, about businesses, uh, anything about when was open, what was open and this and that. Uh, for me, that I was here in 2015, uh, actually I have to be honest, um, I had, no, back then I did not even believe I was in 2015 here in Poland. I did not believe because in 2015 they have brought me to Poland from literally from the mental asylum from Slovenia in 2017 and from political asylum from Belarus. I did not anticipate, assume a possibility that I could be in 2015 here in this city at all. Uh, once I started to pay attention to the city, uh, when the infrastructure took place, the buildings, or uh, renewal of the city, you see, I was concentrated on completely other stuff. And that was a mistake I should have paid attention to, um, you know, other stuff. but. How do you do this stuff? I mean, the stores where I was in, for the most part, were the stores that were like old stores that I have remembered. They were, they were there in 2006, 2005, 2004. And so you feel that you kind of fit into 2006, you know, 2005, basically. Yeah, you were later on also I was brought uh, but 2015 would not sound to me like it would not sound to me at all like oftentimes 2015 at all uh, this is already like a latent stage in 2006 we were taking photos here photos we were taking photos here for uh, just as the immigration procedure would go through, you would have to take the photos of the documents and so on. And we would, we would come to the city and we would be taking photos and stuff like this. And so, this, is, this was related to the legal procedure. Uh, I was pretty damn certain that this was in 2006. I would not, in February, I would not assume this could have been actually in 2015 really uh, 2015 did not come to me uh, till I started to pay attention like that's like two months ago till I started to pay attention to till I started to pay attention to uh, to the to the to the structures to 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 what have changed okay till i started to observe the city like from up closer and closer i started to focus zoom myself into what changed in the city okay so uh, big mistake but still i knew exactly what's gonna happen uh this is just a part of the thing that when you're exposed to mk ultra uh, this is the point. The point is to create and ghost stores you're gonna learn about. You did a little bit, but that I'm gonna talk more. It's called ghost stores. Um, locations that appear at a certain time when you are brought in there, then they disappear like they never existed, appear later at a later stage uh, to confuse you on timing and stuff like that all along throughout this entire process Mr. Kaczynski played what I call a bluda dvolichovost hypocrisy 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 a double-sided game it could be like this and it could be like that he always had the the scenarios that it could be like this or could be like that um, there was a whole bunch of things that that they used that 
they could find their way out if you would only point out like what's going to happen next uh if they got a hold of the video recordings and stuff i was stupid enough to leave them inside on on my android uh i would walk in, into this wi-fi over there they would get a they would definitely get a hold of my you know my stuff that i had my files and so on they definitely knew about what i have what i don't have it would not happen um but uh when you do it like this before you enter inside the building like that uh that's a little bit difficult to prevent this did happen um did i make a lot of predictions like this at all no i did not make a lot of predictions i made um predictions based on a brainwash under mk ultra for which i was so certain that it's gonna happen that i would not even read the documents because it was like literally happening stuff was happening from mk ultra book you could go and you could foretell the next event and so on um this is just how this is just how it works this is not this is not a easy they don't give you easy uh, clearance in fact you have to uh, you have to more than just prove factually that you know uh, not only that you know but you have to collect the proofs about it if you don't collect the proofs about it uh, it's all for nothing basically yeah the name of the game was we're gonna help you out if you can basically grab us catch us if you cannot prove this we're not gonna help you out so this is the form of help we are talking about but still I'm really grateful here to the people of Zgersh for help. All right, let's continue with this recording. Um, uh, people, people wanted to help. People, people really wanted to help. That's why I feel here really good in this Zgersh Lodge. No, what I do is I pretend like I know nothing. Okay, uh, I did quite well. I thought I got more excited about. Are you sure you want to exit? No. Uh, there you have it. Uh, exactly, exactly like in year 2006. They're completely obedient. MK Ultra process the whole thing. Lady who was there at the office right next to room 217. 217. Um, and that lady was already here in 2006. I'm not. No, 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 and this is a trouble with this MK Ultra because you know the person, you saw her, you talked to her, you know the scenario, what's gonna happen, you know everything. This is, I talk, which you have heard when I once I step outside, 
and you're damn certain actually that she is lying I was pretty damn sure that she just is lying to me okay I was like when I was inside I pretended like I know nothing you know like I'm just somebody that came like this and acted like stupid that doesn't know anything till I got confirmation from the lady about my scenario which I have procrastinated that the attorney is gonna leave because there will be no interest and stuff like that and so once I got that then I then came out I got excited now I got you I felt and the lady I you know I was like she lied to me no she did not uh, she just want to help me out um, my mistake not 2006 definitely ladies starting the true 2000 and um, 2015 but you know hey uh, this is yet another definitely proof of MKR try claimed that I knew the scenario that I know the person the timing messed me up okay the event is taking place already definitely since 2015 in that case I can tell you that with attorney advice at the city hall um, and why he gets a little bit excited about because the lady at the front desk uh, she was kind of allowed that it's like a normal thing that uh, you know um, never mind from Grotniki two hours away and so on and so forth okay uh, and I make it a point you know that uh, but I know because I was here and you repeated the whole thing and stuff like that so um, whether they repeat or not, uh, definitely I have procrastinated exactly what's going to happen. I don't come here every year. This was my first time I was here uh, in this city hall, like officially. Officially, it was the first time. But of course, in 2015, I was here. Okay, so knew the scenario about what's going to happen. I'm glad I found this audio recording, uh, and hope I'm going to get some other recordings too and post them online a little skeptical about those a lot of stuff was deleted to me but all right we keep going now you can hear the whole original audio recording about it thanks for watching this video till next time uh how many mistakes have i made like with procrastination of events what is about gonna happen uh, and did not happen um, this were actually only two events I have made a mistake but I did not really make any procrastinations in advance and both of these events unfortunately I did go through the Wi-Fi over there inside of this Osherodic Center and once you go through that Wi-Fi uh, you can just say goodbye because they know they know they know because I recorded myself according to the timing uh, what's about to take place there was a gentleman in our center he bought a black Daivu and he this Daivu already was okay I'm not sure if it was I think it must have been sometimes in probably I estimate like maybe 2008 or something like this they bought this black Daivu and it really really looked like a beautiful car and what happened was um, as much as beautiful the one looked the engine quit it and nobody could understand why is it that engine stopped working on this Daivu it's the same vehicle the gentleman have I'm not gonna say it's the same one but it's exactly the kind vehicle that he had purchased his engine however did not die and if you see the car you would also not expect that he's gonna die uh, they not gonna go through this stuff because they already got my recording so I can tell you about that stuff and then there was another scenario that I have created in respect to someone I'm not gonna say that they also play with this stuff that definitely would be the case and it did not happen I would not even have to release this stuff but I do it anyways
because I'm not hiding, I'm not ashamed to, uh, to tell the whole thing. I know what I'm talking about, I definitely don't know what I'm talking about, this is not that you would see things that you would just make some kind of a guessing and stuff like this, this is just forecast according to MK Ultra, and this one did not go wrong because I did it just before the event and it's that's why it was successful so out of three procrastinations i have made one was a hundred percent hit okay ultra scenario as far as i remember i would come here well right now let's see it's exactly 5 30 it's supposed to be six o'clock for this attorney's meeting but they're gonna just tell me about it now it's too late everybody left already it's
Все. This is basically There you have it, uh, exactly, exactly like in year 2006, they're completely repeating MK Ultra process, the whole thing. Lily, who was there at the office right next to room 217, 217.